hosting Michigan Tech. This weekend, the Huskies got off to a fast start. First minute, enemy Shelby Conrad couldn't hold on to the free kick, and Mackenzie Jordan scores on the rebound, 1-0 Tech. Huskies on the attack again in the 11th minute. Alyssa Hynek would send the ball into the box, and Lexi Herwig would dribble the ball past NMU's Conrad and would make that shot on goal off the defender Taylor Smith for another goal, 2-0 Tech. And then the 35th minute, the first half, Lexi Herwig passes to Alyssa Hynek, and she lifts it over Conrad's head for the goals like she used a pitching wedge, placing it perfectly over the goalie, 3-0 Tech. The Huskies would score two more in the second half and would shut out the Wildcats 5-0 to, to sweep the season series between the two teams. Let's go to the scoreboard. Some scores I missed yesterday. High school football, Hurley beats Gogebic 20-18. to Lake Linden Hubble 38 to nothing over Ontonagon. Houghton loses to West Iron County 26 to nothing. Sault Ste. Marie, Ontario loses to the other Sault Ste. Marie 28-15. And high school boys soccer, Northland Pines 3 to 2 over Iron Mountain, but Iron Mountain gets Marquette 1 to nothing. And some hockey, Marquette Electricians beat Lake Forest Park 6 to 1. The White Sox lose to the Angels 4-1, to so that puts the Tigers within a game. And then the Brewers beat the Nationals 6-2. to They're a game and a half from the wild card lead. So Brewers heating up in September. Hamlin was in first, and then fourth and fifth were Boyer and Casey Kane. And the Sprint Cup standings, Johnson in first, Kozlowski in second, Gordon still with that wild card in 12th, and Dale Hernard Jr. sits in seventh, Tony Stewart in fourth. My man Tony Stewart slowly creeping up there. <laughs> and up Michigan Source for more if you missed Friday Night Fever. I get overzealous. I, I think about Tony Stewart and how well he's doing. And he's creeping up. He's one of the underdogs, but he he'll is. get there. <laughs> he's doing much very well. Tough loss for the Lions, but the Packers play Monday night tomorrow on ESPN. Thanks a lot, Donnie. Well, up next, see how one man finds inspiration in moose. Don't go away.